Okay, so welcome to the rapid fire session. There's a couple of rules that I will give you before we get started. First of all, you will have five seconds for each question. After that, I will start to answer the question so you can see if the answer you got is going to match with what I have. And there are no calculators for this one, so please don't use one. Try to do this on your own, pen and paper, or using your mind. It's up to you. Now, one more thing. For the first two questions, I will provide you with this handy little scale. Uh, but for the final three, you will be on your own. So you will need to have a memory of this. Ready? Let's get started. Okay, time's up. So, in this case here, we are looking at converting nanoliters to microliters. So we will be converting or moving the decimal point towards the left. So 200 is going to move to the left by three decimal places. So the answer is going to be 0 0.2 microliters. Next question. Okay, time's up. So in this case here, we are converting microliters to milliliters. So once again, we will be moving the decimal plate point towards the left. So 0 0.35 is the decimal point. One, two, three. Fill in the zeros. So this is 0 0.00. .00 zero three five milliliters okay next question okay time's up so in this case here we're going from grams to milligrams conveniently they are in the right order so we will be moving the decimal point to the right so 0 0.075 one, two, three decimal places, so the answer is 75 milligrams. Next question. Okay, so time's up. And in this case, we are converting from millimeters to micrometers. So again, in this case, millimeters come before micrometers on our scale, so we will be moving the decimal place to the right. So 0 0.13, and then we move the decimal point over by three spaces, add the zeros, and we get 130 micrometers. Last question. Okay, so in this case here, we are converting millimeters, so milliliters to microliters. So again, we are going to be going to the right. So here's our current number in milliliters. And we're going to move the decimal point over by three to the right. One, two, three. The decimal ends up over here. So the new converted number is 0 0.02 microliters. So, how did you do? Hopefully you did fairly well. Uh, hopefully you were able to get the answers within the time that was allotted. Um, if you didn't, it's okay. You just need a bit more practice, that's all. Um, and, you know, the more you do this, the quicker this will become, and the more second nature will become. Now, if you do want to have more practice, guess what? Uh, I have prepared a second video to give you another rapid fire session, so you are welcome to click on that video right now.